this code sample use PouchDB database. It is an open source document oriented database written in JavaScript, available for free, a library we can use both on the server and the client. In order to create a new database, we just need to write new PouchDB and specify the name of the database. Here in this code sample, I define few functions later being invoked from the buttons. If we execute this code sample, we get three buttons. If we want to add a new book to the database we use, we just need to specify the title, the name of the author for this very specific code sample, and the ISBN number. This is specifically for this code sample. When I press Add Book, the function that I indirectly invoke is the Add Book function. Here in this code sample, I start with uh, fetching the values within the text fields. We have uh, three text fields. And then I create a new object, a new document. Um, every ob object must include the underscore ID property. It is the primary key. Uh, we can have um, uh, each document with its unique underscore ID. We cannot have two documents with the same underscore ID. So in this case I chose to use the book ISBN number as the uh, primary key. Then in order to add the new document, the new object, I just need to invoke the put method on the object that represents the database. In this code sample, uh, the variable db is assigned with a reference for a new object that describes a PouchDB database. Its name is books. So here I add the new document to the database. As you can see, the second argument uh, should be a callback function. It is a function that will be invoked once uh, put completes uh, its uh, operation, completes adding the new document. Um, the callback function has two parameters. Uh, if the adding fails, then the first parameter um, is assigned with a reference for an object that describes uh, the, the error, the problem that happens. So if everything works fine, uh, this condition should be true. And the first thing I do is clearing the fields. It is another function that simply plays uh, blanks within each one of the three text fields. And then I add a message to the um, web page saying that the new book was successfully added. So let's see how does it work. I press add book and as you can see I get the message the new book was successfully added. Another button uh, we have is the show books button. Pressing show books invokes the show books function function that query the database. The function show books include an invocation of all docs on the object that represents the PouchDB database. Here I pass over as a first argument an object that describes the query I want to perform. Uh, the descending property refers to the underscore ID property each document has. Uh, specifying the value true means that I will get all documents um, sorted uh, in a descending order according to the uh, 
underscore id value each one of them as. The second argument is a callback function, a callback function that will be invoked when the query completes. So when the query completes, uh, we invoke the show tables of book and pass over uh, doc.rows. Doc, doc .rows um, gives us an object which is actually an array. Uh, rows is a property. Um, the object that is passed over as the second argument to this callback function as an rows property is actually actually all the reference for an array. So here I pass over an array and I just need to iterate the rows. Iterate each one of the values of that array. Each value is a separated row, a separated document. So I just need to iterate the array and then each iteration I should refer um, to the property doc um, and then I get a reference for an object. I can refer uh, properties, their names are the properties of the document I expect to get. So this is how I get the values and here in this code sample I um, dynamically build a new string and then uh, display it on screen. So if we get back to the code sample when I press show books I get all documents including the new one we have just added 